Hey, welcome back to another Morales video. My name is Bharat and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is for you to integrate the Morales price chart widget into your applications. So let's get started. So this is what we're going to be doing in today's tutorial. I'm going to show you how easy it is for you to copy this widget from morales.com and embed this in your HTML application or your React application. So to get started, you can just head over to morales.com, which is basically a crypto terminal powered by Morales APIs. And as you can see right here, you have all data about various tokens along with their trending status, their hype score, the price, how much has the token pumped since it came into trending, basically all of that. And to basically test this out, you can just click on a token. I'm going to click on the Game Swift token. And as you see right here, you have the chart of the token. So we're going to see how you can embed this chart into your application of choice. So to do this, you can just click on embed chart and that's going to take you to this particular page where you can completely customize all the data about this. So if you want to actually switch between various pairs in this, so you could always just click on this and if there are more pairs for this particular token, you will see them here and you'll be able to plot the chart for that particular pair. So now we're going to put, uh, put the chart for the G Swift slash wet pool. So that's what we see right here. You can see the embed code in HTML and React right here along with the pair address. You can customize the width, the height, the chain ID, the exchange name. You can also switch between various color themes if you're interested. So you could go between uh, Morales, Dark, Light, etc. And now I'm just going to show you how you could embed this HTML code into your application. So you can just copy this code and head over to your HTML application. So I've just created a base template over here. So there are two folders, HTML and React. So in the React, I've just bootstrapped it with npx create react app, whereas the HTML is just an empty folder. So for the HTML, you can just follow along. Let's just create a random index.html file. Once you've done that, let's put in the HTML5 template. So I'm just gonna do that. There we go. And now let's give it a title. So I'm going to name this Morales price chart widget. And uh, the next step is we could just add in a H1 as well. So I'm just going to add a H1. Yep. Now that we have everything set, we can just put in the widget. So I'm just going to open this to show you how the HTML looks like right now. So you can see we just have a H1 here and now we're going to take the widget and let's put it right below this. I'm also just going to add some basic style. So I'm just going to create a style tag here for that. I'm going to put the H1 in the center and I'm also going to just center this particular widget as well. So I'm just going to take the ID of this. And we should be able to just put a margin left to this. That's it. So now if we go back to our widget page and refresh, there you go. So now you can basically see uh, our widget right here. Let's see why it didn't get centered though. Uh, okay, we missed to put the container. Yep. Now if you refresh this, there you go. So you can basically see here how the widget basically looks and how easy it was for you to embed this price chart widget into your HTML file. So if you were to customize this right here by adding in different themes or pair addresses, you'll be able to track it for that particular token. And uh, now that we have embedded this in our HTML file, the next is to do this on React. So for that, I already have a React app running. So I'm just gonna open that React app, which is running at uh, localhost 3001. That's what you see right here. And uh, what we're going to do now for the React app is we're going to go over to the app.js file and let's just basically clear all of this. Yep. So now I'm just going to put in a H1 here as well. Let's see. Yep. So let's put in a H1. Let's say it's Morales price chart widget. Okay, so you can see it right here. The next step is to create a component for this. So I'm just going to name this price chart widget.js. And let's actually get the component code from morales.com. So I have it right here. 
there you go you can see all of the code just copy this code head back to your react app and that's basically it so now i'm just going to import this particular component here that's basically done and now we could just put this below this so let's just put it below yep now that we have put it if we go back to our react app now there you go so you can basically see the uh, price chart widget right here and if you want to style this you could just add like a div between this and you should be able to do that so i'm just going to put a div here i'm going to put this price chart widget within that div and let's just add some margin left to this there you go so now if you see this there you go we basically have the price chart widget integrated and that's how easy it is for you to actually integrate the price chart widget from moralis.com and you can customize this like i said with any of the uh, chains along which are supported along with the pair label the tokens all of that and this is basically uh, going to show you all the tokens across all of the chains so you could even do this for all of the solana tokens as well you just have to click on a token click on embed chart and you're good to go so that's it for this video if you enjoyed it feel free to give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for our further videos thank you